have you ever been legalistic? Oh, sure. Okay, like yeah. consistently or like, oops, I did it again. <laughs> Which you're not supposed to listen to. I... Bad. <laughs> what song are you even referencing? Dang it, I knew it was a song. <laughs> um, all right. This is so interesting. All right, this is where legalism is. is this is where legalism is such an interesting dynamic because legalism just doesn't happen in the rules that seem to be um like archaic or even moral specific so you can have a legalism that is telling you how to be spiritual all right and i think that i have ha bought into that some like in other words that all right, if you're going to be spiritual, we need to worship with this type of expression of worship. Okay. And that can almost become a legalism in and of itself. Or like read the Bible for this long. Sure. I, during the day. Yeah. And I've never really done that kind of thing, but like, like expecting or wanting people to react in worship in a certain type of way, especially worship through song in a certain type of way. Mm. I, I do think I can look back and go, yeah, I was I was a little too, it's weird to say legalistic because you're actually asking people to be quote unquote free in their expression. But I think that I have, it's weird. Be free. free. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, all right. But it's like, I mean, how many times have you heard like ra everybody raise your hands? Everybody do this. Everybody right. say this. Everybody shout this. And I feel terrible for not doing it because why am I doing this? Right. <laughs> and it's like, and, and that becomes the mode in which this is the, the acceptable way or the right way to praise, to worship through song. And and I know that earlier on in my walk, I, I was probably guilty of that, of kind of wanting because we get back to controlling, right? Mm -hmm. It's less legalism, controlling, like trying to control or manipulate people into something um, that doesn't have to be there for for it to actually be worshipped through song. Um, and so, There's so many different ways to do this. It is, and so I mean, I'd love to do an episode where we talk about like charismatic and legalism because it's just it's wild how intertwined those two things can be. Okay. Um. But, anyways, uh, so yeah, I think I have been in that way, and then I think that in, especially in discipling young people, like sometimes I've I've had a tendency to every once in a while probably say, "Hey, you need, you need to do this," and it's probably a little too focused on the outward action because you think they're stupid. <laughs> no, <laughs> because you are trying to help them. You, what you feel like is moving forward mm. in. In, in following Jesus or taking the next right step in cutting this part out of their life or doing this. And the reality is you kind of just have to let the Holy Spirit do that within people. So, um, so yeah, I would say, so anytime I've stepped over a bound of demanding an outward action um, and not really been concerned about what was going on in the hearts of people, whether that's morally or whether that's, quote unquote spiritually in a spiritual endeavor i think that's legalistic so i have done that i'm aware of that and so you know ask for forgiveness and 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 pray that you didn't you know screw up people too bad because of it